Florida reported another 7,300 new cases yesterday, and the state has been averaging more than 8,500 per day over the past week. That is almost eight times the average a month ago, and only a fraction of that is from increased testing, which is up 70% from a month ago. Now, this surge comes as Jacksonville gets ready to host the Republican National Convention next month. But now the River City's exact role is in question. News for Jackson reporter Lena Pringle is joining us live. Lena, the president seemed to cast some doubt yesterday. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Well, Florida's curve was flattening when the decision was made to move the RNC from Charlotte to the River City. Charlotte's governor couldn't guarantee that the event would be able to be held without masks or other restrictions. But now, since the cases are spiking here in Florida, the president says a big celebration here in Jacksonville isn't a done deal. If the numbers continue to go up in Florida and they continue to spike, maybe testing or whatever, but numbers going up, um, would you consider not having as big a convention? Well, we're always looking at different things. When we signed in Jacksonville, and again, uh, we wanted to be in North Carolina, that almost worked out, but the governor didn't want to have people use the arena, essentially, and we sort of, that's a too, bad, too bad for North Carolina. And then we went to Florida, and when we went, when we signed a few weeks ago, uh, it looked good, and now all of a sudden it's spiking up a little bit, and that's going to go down. So it really depends on the timing. Look, we're very flexible. We can do a lot of things, but we're very flexible. More than 70 pastors and nearly 200 physicians are calling on Mayor Lenny Curry to block the RNC from coming to Jacksonville or postpone the event. The mayor's office isn't commenting on those requests, and organizers say they will conduct daily tests for everyone at the Star Veterans Memorial Arena. Florida still has about a month and a half to flatten the curve. Jacksonville was picked as one of three cities, along with Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and Edinburgh, Texas, to receive federal surge testing. And new testing sites are opening up in less than an hour here throughout the River City. At 8 o'clock, they'll be in the in the Arlington area, north side, and the west side. We have locations, all that information posted on newsforjacks.com. Appointments are recommended, and you can find all the other information about any other testing sites right on our website. Live at the Star Veterans Memorial Arena, Lena Pringle, Channel 4, The Local Station.